Welcome everybody to Baby Blue Breaks number 15. We are filming this Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Today, we are doing a hobby box break for UFC 2010 Series 4. This is a pick your weight class break. All weight classes were listed on eBay and set to 7-day auction. Our winners tonight, at 155 lightweight, we got Brandon Chung Cards. At 170, Ryan Lane 10. Brandon Chung Cards also has middleweight, 185. Matt A, 757, has light heavyweight and heavyweight. That's 205 and 265. And something interesting about the 2010 Series 4, the non-fighter weight class. So this is, you know, announcers, ring girls, things like that. The non-fighter weight class also went to Brandon Chung Cards. As a reminder, as we said in all the eBay descriptions, the thoughts from the boss autograph series goes to the fighter so all those autos have dana white and a fighter the autograph goes to the weight class of the fighter on the card just a clarification again that was also in all the ebay descriptions G good luck everybody um as always if you like the channel if you like what we do like comment subscribe share all that good stuff on instagram and on youtube at baby blue breaks we do have another break coming up a 2019 UFC Chrome Pick Your Fighter break will be listed this week. With that said, let's get started, guys. Best of luck to everybody. Thank you all for the support. Let's break it down. You know I got my Lucky Zebra scissors. Never break without them. And let's see what we got going. Just ignore my washer in the background. Breaker's got to do laundry, too. Look at this beauty. It's a good looking box. That is a very good looking box. Let's get all these out here though. I like the packs too. Um, some of the earlier packs, it looks like you would tops put much more effort in, <laughs> in the old ones than they do the uh, their later ones. I wanted to say current ones, but we all know Panini has the uh has the license now so let me get that out of the way actually we'll, we'll keep it in here we'll let brock look over protect our cards those guys will go we'll go left to right left pack left rack first pack see what we got going of course as always all hits are immediately sleeved and they are put into top loaders before shipping base cards ship in team bags So beautiful to start off, we have John Jones. This is his second year. Mark Coleman, Picardo Almeida, Jens Pulver, Pride and Glory insert. A UFC debut, James Tahuna Gold. You guys notice the gold cards are a lot thicker in this set. Then we have a Andre Winner. A UFC debut for Daryl Schoonover. And John Madsen, UFC debut. So we already hit a nice John Jones second year card. Not a bad way to start off the break at all. Thank you for everybody hopping in. Jay Silva, middleweight. Check Congo. Hushamar Pajares. Nasty, nasty leg locker. Anyone who's around um, when Pajares was in the UFC. Guy was a beast leg locker and did not know how to let go when his opponent tapped. Octagon of Honor, Kelvin Grove insert. A gold, Martin Kamen, who is a coach actually right now. I want to say at AKA. UFC debut, Gilbert Ivel. Junior Dos Santos heavyweight, second year card. Takanori Gomi, UFC debut. This is actually the first uh, hobby box I've ripped of Series 4. So I'm interested to see what we have in store for us. Chris Lieben. Christoph Szczynski. George Sadaropoulos. UFC poster card. This is for UFC Silver versus Irvin. 
if you guys remember, um, Silva just, this is Silva took a fight at a light heavyweight. This is when Silva was just taking fights at 205, uh, <laughs> for the fun of it. Brutalized James Irvin. Brutalized him. And very nice. We have a Mike Quick Swick gear card. Um, relic card. As you guys know, each UFC 2010 hobby box has two autographs and two memorabilia cards. John Howard. Roy Nelson. Hardy versus Markham. Apparently Dan Hardy might be making a comeback. Um, I forget exactly who he was beefing with on Twitter. Maybe Matt Brown. But it looks like Dan Hardy might be joining us in the octagon. So I'll give Swick a place now. But I feel we got some uh, good luck coming our way. And so unfortunately our guy Mike won't be there for too long. Paulo Tiago, Chael Sonnen, Dustin Hazlitt, Octagon of Honor, Boss Ruin. Very nice insert there. Evan Dunham, Gold. Fabricio Camoy, James Tahuna, Dana White. So a very nice Dana White card for the non-fighter category. Get this next pack going. Evan Dunham, Marcus Davis, Hoist Gracie, UFC 105 poster card. I believe Kotor won this fight by hugging Brandon Vera for two rounds. A Dan punk ass Caldwell gold. So a nice gold for the non fighters. The gold guys are not numbered, but they are thicker. Jacob Volkman. Patrick Ote, Joe Lozon, lightweight card. So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention we got a stacked, stacked card this uh, this weekend. Three title fights. We got Izzy, Israel Adesanya, going for the double champ against Jan Bohovic. Who do you guys got? Izzy's about a... a Two to one favorite right now. So I think he was a little bit wider to start the week. Odds have definitely been uh been closing in. Anthony Johnson Welterweight. And this guy's about to fight at but Monster. Frankie Egger lightweight. Joe Daddy Stevenson lightweight. Forrest Griffin Bloodlines insert. I really like the holographic look on these Bloodlines cards. Diego Sanchez gold. Jorge Rivera middleweight. Ben Saunders welterweight. Daniel Roberts, UFC debut. I'm going to put that back up. Second to last pack, left rack. Personally, you know, <laughs> let me clarify this by saying I have been wrong about, except for the Derek Brunson fight, I have quite literally, and maybe the Rob Wilkinson fight, picked every single Izzy fight wrong. I faded him against Vittori. I faded him against Tavares. I faded him against Whitaker. I faded him against Romero. I faded him against Costa. Clearly, I've been wrong every time. Um, but, you know, this is the first time I'm picking, I'm picking Izzy. So it probably means he's getting knocked out. Elliot Marshall. Tim Crater. Boom. We were just talking about the man himself. Dan Hardy. This is a very nice, our first autograph hit of the box. You'll see that you'll notice, guys, there is a white piece of residue. Not sure what that is, but that is on the surface of the card as it was ripped. Um, this is a Dan Hardy 2010 autographed card. In my defense, no one told me Costa was gonna, you know, pound a bottle of wine <laughs> night before the fight. Forrest Griffin, great to the game. Hardy versus Davis. Dan Hardy's all over, even though he's getting hit there. Anderson Silva. Rodney Wallace. Dong Hyun Kim. So I think Izzy gets it done this weekend. Um, the big thing for me is Izzy's frame. I know he's moving up. I know Jan is gigantic. Last pack, first rack. Um, I know Jan hits hard, but I do think Jan's slower. Um, 
We've seen him against another middleweight in Tiago Santos, and he got knocked out. And is he's going to be taller, and he's going to be longer. So, so the size advantage, you know, strength advantage will be at play, but Izzy will still be the, the bigger man frame-wise in the octagon, which fits perfectly in his style. He's much faster than Jan. Um, he's a better technical striker. So Jan's biggest chance is he, he just clubs Izzy down the middle. But I think Izzy has the speed, the cardio, and the technique to win a, a five-round decision. I will be surprised if he knocks Jan out, just considering Jan's size and um, Jan's durability and going up a weight class. So I think Izzy's um, smartest move is to just kind of point fight. Not necessarily point fight, but kind of stick and move, um, keep his distance, and just carve Jan up for five rounds and get that double champ status. Quentin Jackson, Johnny Hendricks, Rashad Evans. We got another very nice poster card. This is for UFC Fully Loaded. Randy Couture and Pedro Hizzo and Pat Miletic and Carlos Newton. I think Newton won that with the Bulldog Choke. Vanderlei Silva, gold. Joe Brammer, UFC debut. Ed Herman, middleweight. Anthony Hardonk, heavyweight. First pack, second rack. I really got to, I got to just emphasize this again. This card art, this um, this pack art is just so cool. Um, I like how there's different fighters. I like all that stuff. There's just yeah, DK kind of like the Anderson fight. Um, I think he's gonna keep his distance and just just outstrike the guy. This is so much better than, than what we got from Tops, and I hope Panini gets back to this. Mike Quick Swick, Nick Lentz, Rick Story, a greats of the game, GSP card. Very nice. UFC Undisputed 2010. These games, so much better than the EA games. Josh Koscheck, Matt Wyman, Joey Beltran, Jacob Sitzstrand. And I know people say that, like, oh, you're just you're thinking of the past, whatever. It's not as good. I got so bored during lockdown. I bought an Xbox 360. I bought UFC Undisputed. Obviously, the graphics aren't as good. Um, the, the animation isn't as fluid. But in terms of the core competency of the game and the ideas behind it, the Undisputed series was just better than the EA series. Um, I, I've gotten the EA games because I'm a sucker. I mean, look at me. I, I, I do UFC box breaks. Clearly, I'm a fan. So I, I get them just because they're the only games out. But man, the U, EA games suck, I got to say. Matt Riddle, welterweight. Melvin Gallardo, lightweight. Demarcus Johnson, welterweight. Chuck Odell versus Jeremy Horn. Light heavyweight championship fight. I believe this was the rematch. When um, Chuck Liddell wanted to adventure his loss, I believe he lost by triangle to, to Jeremy Horn. We got a gold, Big Nog, Rob Emerson, Don House, Cutman, Tim Sky Skyscraper Cats. Again, those will both go to the non-fighter category. We got another relic and another auto waiting for us. I'm excited. We got Tushir, Phil Baroni, Jeremy Stevens, Don Fry, Pride and Glory insert. And there it is. There's our second relic card. Amir Sadala, tough winner. I think you believe he armbarred CB Dalai twice in route to winning the uh, winning the tough championship. I'll put Amir over there. He's not uh he's not knocking. Knocking Swick off just yet. Mark Munoz, Ricardo Funch, Dennis Seaver. I know, dude, I know. So that all just kind of <laughs> fell off the face of the earth. Let me see. Um, second. Women's fight, um, I, I think we all know Amanda Nunes is the rightful favorite. It'll be a, a gigantic, gigantic upset if she loses. But honestly, not much to talk about with that fight. Paul Buentello, Yoshihiro Akiyama, Alan Belcher, Ortiz Belfort, UFC 51, Super Saturday poster. Really like the hollow looks on these. A gold, CB Dale, the man himself who got <laughs> armbar twice. Ariane Celeste Octag Octagon Girl, Highlight Reel. Anderson Silver versus Forrest Griffin. Highlight reel. St. Pierre versus Penn, guys. As a reminder, 
the highlight reel cars that feature belt go to the weight class that the, the belt was contested at. So Silva went to the light heavyweight division for this for this fight. So even though Silva's a middleweight, this is a light heavyweight card. For UFC 94, this was for the welterweight championship. So even though BJ was a lightweight, fight was at welterweight, welterweight gets this card. And we did these guys already. All right, guys, we have four packs left. We got a Lesnar, we got a Jones, we got a Florian, and we got a Liddell. Let's see who brings us luck. Who brings us luck. So the the other title fight that I'm super excited about, um, Aljo, Aljamain Sterling versus Peter, Piotr Jan. Who do you guys got? Let me know in the comments below, and then I will give you my thoughts. Shogun Hua, Gray Maynard, Lyoto Machida, Kevin Randleman, rest in peace, pride and glory, insert. A gold Leon Tabs Cutman card. These cards are oriented all over the place. Tiago versus Koscheck. Brad Blackburn. Joe Rogan. That might be the most valuable card we've seen. In this set yet. I know it's, it's, it's Joe Rogan's second card, but... Rogan, he's the biggest podcaster on the planet. He's maybe the biggest name in the sport. Definitely up there in terms of worldwide reach. Rogan is a, a great hit for the non-fighters. Tom, I see you got Funk Master. I know you guys got that college connection. I'm split. Um, I like I like Al Jermaine, a great wrestler. I'm, I'm sympathetic to the grapplers. I tend to just like them more just because that's the background I come from. Damian Maya. Sean Shirk, Kurt Pellegrino, Joe Daddy Stevenson, Octagon of Honor, a gold, Paul Buentello, Mike Guyman, UFC debut, highlight reel, Machida vs. Evans, Arturo, that the Rogan's going to the winner of the non-fighter category. So Brandon Chung Cards is getting Rogan. He's also getting this Octagon Girl card. And I honestly, I'm, I'm back and forth on that 135 fight. I really don't know who to pick. Jan's looked amazing. Um, Alger's looked better. But Alger's very reliant on the striking. I mean, we know he ran through Corey Sanhagen. He's had good striking performances against guys like Munoz. But I'm curious how he holds up over five rounds over a bigger striker like Jan. The big thing with Jan is we haven't seen him tested his grappling at this level in the UFC. Um, and his, some of his... Russian fights, I think it was ACB. He looked amazing. He looked great in the later rounds. But there's, you know, there, there's regional title fights, and then there's there's Aljamain Sterling. Rich Franklin, light heavyweight. Chuck Liddell, light heavyweight. There we go. Rich Franklin, who, as we see, is a light heavyweight in this set. We get the Rich Franklin 2010 autograph card. Very nice looking auto. I think these 2010 autos with the octagon and, and the, all the pictures are some of the best autograph cards the UFC has done. You know what? I'll, I'll keep Franklin here. We'll let Hardy keep a spot. Let's keep it going. Vera versus Jones. Jones broke Brandon Vera's face with an elbow. Literally shattered his orbital. Paul Buentello. Or no, sorry, Daryl Schoonover, gold from the Tough Ten finale. Mark Goddard, Spencer Fisher, Dan Punk S. Caldwell. So guys, we got our two relics. We got our two autos. Let's see what's waiting for us in the last pack. Nate Diaz, very nice. Anything Diaz sells well. This is Diaz at lightweight. We know he took that little trip to uh, to to welterweight, and uh, Rory McDonald sent his ass back down. But lightweight Nate Diaz, Keith Jardine, Gabriel Gonzaga, very nice. A bloodlines insert of Mirko Krokop. 
a gold Sean Shirk. TJ Grant. A welter right here. Drop down to lightweight. One of the biggest um, what ifs. And yeah, uh, Matt, any poster, It's I should have clarified that as well. But the poster goes to the main event, the weight class of the main event. So if you have 205 and it's a 205 main event, you get that poster. Should have clarified that. TJ Graham, one of the biggest what ifs, was ready for a title fight around the time of, you know, the Maynards and the and the Fergusons of the world. Got a, you know, unfortunately a brain injury, some severe concussions, and never came back to the sport. A very big what if. Kevin Mulhall, referee card. James McSweeney, UFC debut. So thank you everybody for participating. Whether you were had a spot, just hopped in for a few minutes, or watched the whole break. Thank you everybody for participating in Baby Blue Breaks number 15. Like I said, we will have a Chrome Pick Your Fighter Break UFC Tops 2019 Chrome Fighter Break up this week. Um, we had some different things with shipping, so I've just decided no more shipping costs, no more combined shipping, no more international global shipping program. Gets too complicated. makes it difficult for everybody. So um, you, pay, you pay what you pay. I'm going to figure out shipping on my end. Thank you, everybody, for looking. Zach, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for participating. Enjoy the fights this weekend. And as always, happy hunting. Thank you so much.